So let's just do a real world application where you say sat on this thing and let's say it bent this way off. Let's just crack this thing right off the tip. Now I've really pulled this apart and you can see those connections there are separated from the solder points on the board. You can see that clearly now. So if that's what's happening to your, or that's what's happened to your USB uh, thumb drive, let me try to give you an angle here. Let me give you an angle here that really shows those leads that are off those four, one, two, three, four solder, solder points coming out of the USB tip right there. So if that's happened and you've tweaked your USB drive this far, you know, bending it is, is probably not, I mean, you might get lucky and those connections will come together once you put the case on it, but I kind of doubt it. And if you've come this far and that sucker is detached and those connections are detached from the board, tin the tip of your solder iron, that's probably the best way to go is these connections are so small. And I got one, two, and they're reconnected. And then you would just assemble that back in its case here, that plastic case it came with, and just cross your fingers and, and give, it a, give it a go. But that's most likely what the case is. For those of you with bent USB drives, I believe that's the memory right there, Chip. And I believe that's the processor chip. There's a, there's the crystal, the oscillating crystal that times the USB times the circuit. Um, and a series of resistors and capacitors. And that's about it. That's really, that's about all that's in this thing. So there's your memory chip right there. And as far as it hearing that back onto the board, these guys, I don't know. At that point, I would say the, the USB flash drive, thumb drive is toast. I mean, look at how fine those pins are. And these are all done electronically. You know, they're not put together with a, by a human being with one of these things. <laughs> they're, they're kind of stamped in, um, in a, in a, a in a factory automated process, but those you can get at if these, if this other side that I just showed previously are, are lifted and the memory boards intact, I, I think you can get that part back working. Um, but as far as this backside, Hmm. I mean, you could try to, could we, I, we could try to glue it, I suppose. You could try to put a dab of Elmer's Pro Bond on the corners there, the white corners there and there, and then clamp that down overnight. That's something else you might try. But yeah, so that's my advice on USB drives. I hope this, I hope some of this knowledge helps you or it helps someone, because this I know this is a this is one of those things where. These things are not built really tough, you know, and it can be frustrating when you have a lot of files on a d device like this and you want to get them off. So, yeah, just post your comments. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching.